Uncle Fester 24, this one is for you. I got this 2021. 2021. It's got a 10 speed in it. It had a bunch of low voltage codes in it. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with four scan. You were asking me to uh, reset adaptive learn on the transmission. So you're gonna need four scan and you're gonna need a vehicle connector and you're gonna turn the truck on and you're gonna open up four scan. And look, it brought it right up. It already connected. If it doesn't connect automatically, you're gonna hit that button right there where it's, that's a connect, that's a disconnect. So it is an F450. It is a 2021 and the VIN is 71023 and 71023. So yes, I can find my mouse here. Yes. And it's gonna go through, I had a bunch of low voltage codes in it. it yeah, so it's already read. And to reset your specified functions, you want to go to this wrench icon right there. You click on that. And then you want to go into PCM, right here where my mouse is, reset. Whoa. Oh, TCM, excuse me. Reset all adaptations. You can double click on it. Or you can actually just go down this little play button here. Click play. It says procedure will return the learn values shared for adaptive systems back to their normal settings. And you want to click on yes. And then it's going to pop up. All adaptations have been started. Service procedure has completed successfully. Okay. Then you want to go over here. And then I'm actually, if you want to halt it, you would just click on halt and go down here to that and it will stop the adaptive learning and measure slip time and you would just hit okay but actually you know what we're going to do that i'm just going to halt the learn it says it's been started oh popped up turn the ignition off okay Please wait 30 seconds. Uh, it's got a little bar going across. So it's stopping everything in the transmission control module. So 30 seconds of this. And then I'll show you how to do OCR. Turn the ignition on, but do not start the engine. The ignition is on. Hit OK. Service procedure completed successfully. Bar went all the way across. All right, so that's how you reset it, or that's how you stop it. Now I'm going to hit the stop button here. Um, stop button. Now, if you want... To turn on OCR, you want to go to this chip looking thing and chip. And then you're going to go into PCM, powertrain control module configuration. Do not go into as built, go into configuration. Click on it when it's blue, come down here to the bottom, hit the play button and it brings up all blocks. And then it says manual regeneration. Manual regeneration with active regeneration inhibit. So it's already on on here, but I'm gonna go to it anyway. Double click it. Yes, that's what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna go down here where it says write. I'm gonna write it. It says no changes, nothing to do, cause it's already on. Okay. Once I go, once you do that, it's gonna ask you to turn the key off and then turn it back on. And then you go back to module programming and then you go to IPC, module configuration. Do not go into as built. Oops. IPC, play button. It brings up your whole, all the blocks. And then instead of filtering through all this, 
or trying to look for it, you can just go up to where it says filter and just type in M A N and right here, manual regeneration. So it looks like it's disabled on my dashboard. So I'll double click on it and then I want to enable it. And then I want to hit the check mark and then I want to hit right. Old value disabled, new value enabled, check mark. Block failed. I wonder if it's because I have all this stuff plugged in through. Hmm. All right. Okay, so I had to find the factory, unplug all this aftermarket stuff. Find the factory one. Let me go back into the IPC configuration. Oh. Turn the key on. Uh, go back in here and type manual. Sometimes it doesn't like to do it when all that aftermarket's plugged into it. Manual regeneration. Double click it, enable it, check mark it, write it. Yes. Block fail. Incompatible configuration. It is not incompatible. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. Enable it. I had to make sure it was on in PCM. Go right. Better work. Oh. Anyway, that is how you turn it on. I don't know why it's not letting me doing it on the dash. Let me go back. Oh, wait a minute. PCM. Manual regeneration, regeneration, manual dream. Yes. Right. Okay. Turning ignition off. And then back on. Okay. Okay, so now I went from enabled to manual generation with active region now let's see if i can go since i changed some things around module configuration oh come on I keep hitting the wrong button i'm sorry manual manual regeneration enabled Right, yes, we must have something going on with the IPC here, there might be a code in it, let's go back, is there a code, checking, oh, Instrument panel, found module. Huh, it's on. It's showing it on the dash, so it's weird. But it's... Oops. It's not going to show up here until it hits like 100, anywhere from 85 to 100%. But that's how you turn it on. That's how, excuse me, that's how you turn on OCR. You have to do it in the IPC and in the... Um, PCM and then to do your transmission you just go to the little wrench guy right there TCM halt transmission or reset adaptations and that's all you got to do I hope that helps you out thank you for the recommendation
Oh, see, look, I don't know why it was doing that. Manual regen enabled. I don't know why it was showing me that it was a fault. That's weird. But it enabled it. So that's in the IPC. See, IPC module. Sorry. IPC module configuration. Manual regeneration. It's enabled. It's showing that it's working, okay? So, remember, you go PCM. Module configuration. Come on. PCM module configuration. And then you're gonna go manual regeneration and it's regeneration with active regeneration inhibit. Okay. And then you go IPC module configuration. And manual region, you can type in manual and a in, and right here where it says manual regeneration, and it says disabled there, but it says over here that it was enabled. We're gonna do it again, enable because it just showed me a second ago that it was enabled. That was weird. Uh, yes. So. Yeah, see, enabled. All right, so now we're on. All right, cool, 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 cool. And then I hit the stop button. And then to disconnect from the vehicle, you go back up here to the, to the triangle. And then you go down here to the little disconnect and it is not connected. And you just exit out. So, I hope that helps you. I appreciate you being a member, it means a lot to me. And I hope you are able to use Forescan to uh, turn on OCR and to um, reset the adaptive alert on your buddy's transmission. If you got any questions, you know where to find me, reach out.